Hi everybody. Today I want to show you how standard deviation shows dispersion. And to do that, I'm going to use Desmos just as a tool. So what you can see here is that I have a graph and this would be a continuous distribution. And this continuous distribution right now is said to have a mean, median, and mode at zero and the standard deviation. Let's go ahead and set that back at one. So this shows me kind of how it's spread out. So you might know this as called the standard normal curve. But watch what happens as I move A, right, left and right, like it doesn't really change the shape. So what the mean is, it doesn't really change what's happening to my graph. So let's go ahead and set it back at zero. But watch what happens when I change B. So B is representing our standard deviation. See how this is spreading out? So what does this really show me? So let's call this cumulative. So this way, if I do cumulative, it can show me between two points. So I'm going to have it do one standard deviation to go whatever my standard deviation is. And let's go back and say, let's start at one. So you can see this representation in the graph. So everything in this area represents one standard deviation. So from zero, that much higher and that much lower. So I'm going to set it at one and it's showing you the area. So it's showing you the percent of the data that should be within one standard deviation. So if we were looking at a normal distribution, we always expect it to be 68% of the information is in one standard deviation. So watch what happens when I go from one to two. One to two, it flattened out, right? So it got from this nice curve, it got a little flatter, but notice it still shows 68%. So changing the standard deviation doesn't change the percent of the data close to the mean, but it does change how far away it is. So watch if I change it to three, it got flatter, four, it gets flatter, five, it gets flatter. So the more, and let me zoom it in so you can see, the more I would change this, we're going to keep seeing the curve flatten out, right? So I can see how this is really changing my curve when, when the standard deviation is low. See how high that is? I have this nice peak to my graph. And then as I increase the standard deviation, I see my graph falling. It's getting smaller and smaller. So it says it's spread. So that's what I want you to think about with dispersion is the standard deviation shows how is it spread out? How do I look at my data and do I see is it really concise and close together or is it really far apart? So the bigger the standard deviation, the more spread we're going to see in our data.